What is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about again another air mobility company but this one is absolutely amazing as well and we're going to be talking a little bit more on some speculation of a spec that could be merging with this company and the company I'm talking about is Lilium. Holy smokes air mobility air taxis doing some amazing things if you're interested I suggest you stay tuned right after this. Before we dive in and start talking about some amazing things, honestly, air taxis, are you kidding me? I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time to get into the video. And I'm going to start to say, let's fly into the video. The new wave of transportation, and it's coming quick, guys. This is becoming a reality, and we're starting to see a lot more companies go into the air mobility aspect. Obviously, I've talked about eHang. Now I'm talking about Lilium. And there's a few others that we should be talking about as well. So I'm obviously going to start presenting videos on this because, like I said, this is a new wave of transportation. And it is going to become a reality, guys. Whether you're talking logistics, whether you're talking about air travel, I mean, you could be talking a bunch of other things, too, that could be incorporated with this entire, entire objective. So I'm beyond excited. You guys know that I absolutely love providing content on drones and it's going to be taking a step further in air mobility with these amazing vehicles. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to talk about a potential spec, some of the rumors that I've heard of who actually might be taking Lilium public. So we're going to talk about that right now. So the stock ticker symbol is going to be ZNTE. The company I believe is pronounced Zenite and it's Zenite Acquisitions. This is a blank check company. Zenite Acquisitions has priced its initial public offering of 20 million units at $10 per unit. Each unit consists of one share of Class A common stock and one half of the redeemable warrant to purchase one share of Class A common stock at $11.50. Trading commenced today on the NASDAQ with an opening price of $10.04. This was actually written on November 17th, so 2020. So this uh, SPAC has kind of been around for a little bit. Um, and we're going to dive into the chart and see a little bit of the difference. Underwriters over allotment is an additional 3 million units. SPAC intends to focus on companies in the aviation, aerospace and defense, urban mobility, and emerging technologies industries with enterprise values between $600 million and $1.5 billion. So... Something to really think about right there, and that's why a lot of people are making that connection, really making the ties with Lilium. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to dive into what they call the Lilium Jet. And this is going to explain a lot of what this company is truly, truly based on, and really moving forward is what's going to be really developed on. So swing it on over here. The Lilium Jet was designed with regional mobility in mind. It balances competing requirements for range, speed, payload, while delivering a low noise footprint, very key, and the same safety standards as today's commercial aircraft. Again, you guys know that every single time I cover, whether it's a drone or something that's air mobility, they incorporate the term safety, absolutely key. The four wings contribute significantly to overall efficiency, providing lift to support the weight of the aircraft during horizontal flight, while the deduct or deducted design of the 36 electric mo uh, motors provides a significant efficiency advantage over open rotors by blocking the formation of the tip of the vortices. Um, and so it does continue on, talks a little bit about the design. It says the Lilium Jet has an intrinsically simple design with 36 single stage electric motors providing near instantaneous thrust, which is absolutely amazing. You guys are going to see that video how this thing takes off, how it is really conducted during flight. It says that the thrust in almost any direction control surfaces such as ro uh, rudders, aileons, and tail aren't required. Neither are the oil circuits and the gearboxes you would find in a typical aircraft. This contributes to Lilium's jet having around the same number of individual parts as a family car or a thousand times fewer than a traditional jetliner. 
as well as making the aircraft simpler and faster to design it also means less maintenance and less cost once in operation so that's something to always consider and take into really truthfully consideration as this becomes more and more popular now obviously when you look big picture are you going to be able to fit 150 plus people on a lilium jet no but this is going to be a convenience. This is going to be able to, you know, carry you from point A to point B in a relative area in a relative manner of time. And, you know, there's just a lot of things that this is going to be able to provide as a service. I don't think that they're trying to 100% compete against airliners and traveling across the world type stuff. But I do think that they're definitely trying to, you know, get you from point A to point B and eliminate the aspect of traffic. And, you know, maybe this is a way that is a, you know, in the future deliveries are done. This is, company is absolutely doing some amazing things. I do believe it's based out of Germany and there is a lot of major, major, you know, heads that are inside this business that have had a ton of experience in other avenues and it only makes and generates you know, better overall experiences when it comes to this type of thing. So one of the things I wanted to bring to your guys' attention because this isn't into SPAC form yet, some of the investors that have already really put forth you know, an investment into this company, and there is a monster name on here that I think is absolutely, absolutely amazing. So you have Atomico, you have Bally Gifford, you have Freight Heist, then you have LGT, Obvious, and then you have Tencent. And if you guys know anything about Tencent, that is a major, major company. And that is based out of China. Holy smokes, guys. That is a monster, monster investment right there. And so for them to have the backing, the support from Tencent, I think that speaks volumes to what this company really could potentially do down the road. And it's just absolutely amazing stuff right there. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the biggest pieces of information that could drop for this company actually dropped about roughly five to six days ago, and it is amazing to hear, especially when you're talking about the future of just travel and transportation, and like I've said multiple times in this video, logistics and tons of other things. I mean, in all honesty, the, the, just the, the mind starts spinning when you're talking about some of the opportunities that this is going to provide. So I'm going to provide this amazing information to you. It says jet powered flying taxi startup to develop hubs across Florida. Lilium working with Spanish infrastructure giant Ferrovial on at least 10 so-called vertiports aims to be running flights in cities worldwide by 2025. Now, obviously, we've seen that date truly as a target date for a lot of things. We've seen it for drones flying around and doing all of what they're expected to do. Package delivery, you know, food delivery, pharmaceutical delivery. And that's going to be like a full-time thing. Obviously, we're working towards that. Some companies are kind of in the process of doing that now. But we're expecting a full-time transition by 2025. It sounds like it's the same when it comes to these air taxis. So we're going to dive into this a little bit. It says the world's first all-electric vertical takeoff passenger jet could start operations from boutique hubs across Florida in coming years. German startup Lilium has struck a deal to build a network of at least 10 so-called vertiports with Spanish infrastructure giant Ferrovial SE. The company said on Wednesday, Ferrovial owns 25% of London Heathrow Airport and manages three other terminals, terminals in the UK. Lilium, which is developing a five-seat air taxi, will serve Florida's major population centers, including Miami and Tampa. The timing of this first flights in the southern part of the state could be announced as soon as the uh, as this spring. Ferrovial said in a statement, the companies will collaborate on a design, construction, and operation of the airports and charging facilities. Lilium aims to be running uh, flights in the cities by 2025. It says the company says that the pay per ride services will be emission free, five times faster than a car and produce less noise than a motorbike. The aircraft's battery will have a 300 kilometer, or it translates to 186 mile range. Uh, it continues to say initial flights will feature a pilot, but can also operate in drone mode. Very interesting. Uh, it says a first test flight took place in May of 2019. One, or once the service is up and running, Lilium expects a short connection between St. John F. Kennedy International Airport in Queens, New York to Manhattan and it said it would cost about the same as a top-end limousine service. Something to think about. I mean, truly, truly think about. Like, those are 
very short time periods you're not having to fight you know actual traffic on the ground and you could be paying you know relatively a little bit more than say the travel itself but if you're willing to do that why not i mean it makes sense if you're trying to get there in a hurry it makes sense um i think that this is going to definitely be an amazing service i'm really excited to see it continue to develop because once again we understand that the faa is going to have a major role in this you know the faa clearly is having a major role when it comes to drones and the expectations um and then obviously you're talking safety we talk about it every single time in a video guys and this is clearly clearly going to be one that you're going to have to demonstrate and provide safety um and so i'm looking forward to it so now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into a chart my favorite part of any video of course is chart breaking down time but this isn't specifically going to be lilium just yet this is again speculation and so we're going to swing on over here and check out znte zenite acquisition corporation because again it is rumored to be this company that will be doing the spac merger We'll just have to see how it plays out. But as you guys can see today, it opened at $12.92, a little bit up from where it initially opened back in November. Uh, it's high as $13.50 today. Low is $12.91. Volume is $1.299 million. Obviously, there's no market cap because there's no company tied to it yet. 52-week high is $14.40. It's 52-week low is $10.13. And its average volume is $1.791 million. So as you guys can see, it closed today at $13.47. That was up 4.42%. And then it was down in the after hours, closing out the day completely at 13.45, uh, down 0.15%. Not too terrible in the after hours. Now, as you guys can see that this is definitely, definitely a six month chart span, but it looks like it really hasn't done anything at all up until recently and it's probably when the speculation started to really brew and we started to hear the rumors that Lilium would be the partner so this thing started to get some spikes based on that information and then since then it's kind of settled in and then we've had another run again so a lot of this is happening based on speculation and and I think that's okay you know you want to get in as soon as you possibly can before the announcement is actually made and we see a monster run up um, so It'd be interesting to see if this truly is going to be the spec that takes Lilium, you know, to the market. We'll just have to wait and see. Either way, guys, I'm excited, beyond excited about this. You guys know I love covering this sector. Um, I think that this is definitely going to be a very, very intriguing, you know, business to follow. I'm excited to see how their business model is carried on because obviously they're going to be a competitor to the likes of an Ehang. And Ehang obviously is already trading on the market and they're in, you know, the 80s to $90 range. They're doing some big things. Um, they do have a drone company that is in within, you know, the business model. So that's something to always think about, too, that they're now going to be competing against the likes of them. Um, but I'm excited to just see this thing, especially start to enter into Florida. It sounds like Florida is really going to be one of the forefront leaders when it comes to doing a lot of drone things. Obviously, Ian and Ace and the company at Zing is doing some amazing things down there in Miami with their drones. It sounds like, you know, Lilium's going to be doing some amazing things in Florida, building all the, the 10 hubs. So it sounds like Florida is really getting engaged with drones and, and air mobility right away. Um, I do want to remind you guys, I am not a financial advisor and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. And that's exactly what I'm here to do is entertain. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content, because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.